Once again, your man DJ Eakin Tampa's most connected DJ. Kind of got like, I try to pride myself on knowing things before everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? So when I meet or hear about new artists doing their thing, I'll be like, I got to get to that dude. And your name okay. is kind of buzzing from what I understand. And I got a few inside connects at Def Jam. And from what I'm hearing, like you to talk all the meetings, man. Ah, man, that's what's up, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you, homie. How you, man? Thank you. That was, that was a, a great introduction, by the way. I'm just saying, man, I heard a lot about you, man. But, but you know what I want to do first? I want to get right here because I, I read your bio. I got a couple of facts on mm -hmm. you. I heard you was into sports. Yeah. And not really sure about the singing thing, man. So. Nah, growing up, I was doing like more so football. Like, I was right. doing Little League. Uh, in uh, high school, I was playing wide out. But, like, in 10th grade, I was like, because I always had a hidden passion for music. Right. But, you know, growing up before a lot of those, singing ain't really the coolest thing to do. Right. So. Um, I, I, once I got into high school, I was like, man, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, try this. And I got a good response, and I just stuck with it. Okay, and I don't want to jump something else I found out, too. I, you know, because <laughs> normally, like, moms and parents are all about school and mm -hmm. everything else. And I heard your mom heard you singing was like, baby? Yeah. <laughs> baby? How'd that go, man? <laughs> well, actually, she heard me singing in the shower once. And, right. um she came to me and was like, uh, she didn't force it on me, because uh, right. that was back when I was still doing my sports stuff heavy. She right. was like, I'm not going to force it to you, but I know you're going to come back to it. And, you know, lo and behold, I, I, I came back, and I was like, Mama, I'm going to do it for real. And she was like, I'm rooting for you. Whatever you want to do, I got I got your back 100%. So, so, so how's it, how are you liking it so far? How you, how you how you liking the industry so far now that you're in it? The buzz is starting. People are starting to know about you. How are you liking that part so far? I mean, I love it, man. It's definitely hard work, though. Um, I love, you know, interacting with the fans and, you know, just being you know, actually here now, because last year I was just, you know, trying to figure it out and trying to, you know, figure out how I was going to get here. So it's right. like surreal to actually be here, you know, have actually people like screaming for me and cheering for me <laughs> and stuff like that. So it's it's dope, man. You got a big record out right now. This Lego joint. And yeah, featuring how, how do we get that? I mean, two chances on it. Yeah. A heavy feature. Yeah. Who'd you work with on that? Uh, well, after we did the song, uh, the label came to me and it was like, yo, who who some of the cats that you feeling right now in the game? And I was like, of course, two chains. So right. he's, you know, he's blazing the streets right now. So right. you can't go wrong with him. So and uh, Motown and Def Jam is like one big family. So. Right. It wasn't really hard to get him on the song, so okay. we sent it to him. He he came back with it, and it was a movie from there. We working on a, we working on an album project now. Oh, definitely, definitely. We putting the finishing touches on it. Uh, we don't got no titles yet, I was but you you know I wanted to know the titles, <laughs> but I wanted to know. Nah, not yet, not yet. But as soon as I know, you'll know, bro. Okay. And um, and, and I would be amiss if I didn't ask this because like, we talk about the music, we know the music is heavy, mm -hmm. and I know you're about to go on stage. Yep. But you know they want to know. Okay. Single, looking, qualities you like in a woman. Because I definitely, know, I know, <laughs> I, you know, I know Usher and Chris Brown are some mm -hmm. of your idols. And you know, they make songs for the chicks, so I yeah. know you on that path too. So I'm definitely single, uh, looking. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm just I'm going with the flow, you know what uh, I'm saying? Okay. If it happens, it happens, but you know, I'm definitely single, and yeah, whatever you know, holla at me, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It might just happen. <laughs> Give me your Twitter, man, and, and all that good stuff. Your Twitter, okay. how to get in contact with you. Okay, well, y'all can hit me up at the Real B Smith Twitter, Instagram. That's T H E R E A L B S M Y T H. Facebook.com backslash B Smith Music. And uh, get at me. And the single, of course. Oh, yeah. Cop, cop the single on iTunes. B Smith featuring the homie 2 Chains. Let go. That's L E G G O. And uh, uh, the video's on 106 and Park right now, so y'all can vote for that. Make that number one. And yeah, that's and what it is. is we, we, got the, we don't know when the album's coming out. We just work. Definitely on this year, though. Oh, definitely, definitely this, this year, year, though. I'm thinking like maybe late summertime. Late summertime. But. And anybody you want to work with that you see out there, you like, I, I hope I can work with them on this project? Uh, I like Future. I fool's the future. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get him, maybe get him on a song. Uh, maybe Kendrick Lamar or, okay. you know, Beyonce or something like that. You're a big fan, <laughs> you're a big fan of the hip hop, too. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> B. Smith, man. I appreciate Thanks you. Thanks for having me, man. man. I got you, man. All it's right. my place, man. That's how we do it. Hey.